How y'all doing today, man? It's your boy. I'm back with another week of my Minoxidil beer journey. This is week number 47. And before we get this video started, I want to thank, give a big thanks to all my new subscribers, man. Hopefully this video motivates y'all to start your own Minoxidil beer journey or continue on the one that you've already started. And I also want to give a big shout out to my OG subscribers that have been with me since day number uno before I even had a beard, when I had that little mustache and chin hairs. Um, but yeah, man, with this video, man, I kind of want to talk about other people's beards, man. And it's, you know what I'm saying, I'm close to 52 weeks, man, almost a year being on a Minoxidil. deal. My beard is pretty good. Um, it's not perfect. I still have some flaws around this area. I feel like it's not as thick as I want it, but um, it's a lot better than what it was. And uh, the crazy thing is, since I've been growing this beard, um, I've actually been noticing other people's beards. Um, and I'll be like, I'll see somebody and I'll be like, man, his beard cold. Or I'll see somebody and I'll be like, ah, his beard is lacking, man. He may need to get on that Minoxidil. And another crazy thing is, like, before I had my beard, anybody that had a beard, I was like, man, I wish I could grow a beard like that. But now, some of those guys, I, I may see them, like, on Instagram or something, and I'm realizing, I'm like, seeing the flaws in their beard, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. Like, they may have patches and stuff like that. And it's crazy, before I had started this Minoxidil beard journey, I really didn't notice it. But now that I have a pretty good beard, I can see it. And so with this video, I wanted to just go over um, three guys um, that to me have like the coldest beards, man, that when I see them, I'll be like, man, his beard hitting. I wish my beard, was, you know what I'm saying, was like that. And so the three guys, uh, y'all probably know them. Y'all probably don't. I'm going to leave a picture uh, next to him when I mention them. The number one guy is uh, Tyrone Woodley, man. He's an MMA fighter and uh, his beard is cold blooded, man. He got... The one thing I like about his beard is it's one is full um, and number two, his beard covers his whole face. Like it starts from under his lip and it goes all the way down. And he always keeps it neat and shaped up. Uh, his beard is cold, man. I, I saw one picture of him getting interviewed and I was just like, man, his beard hitting. Um, the number two guy, um, this guy's Mexican, uh, Canelo Alvarez, man. He's a boxer, one of the top boxers in the world. His beard is crazy, man. He always keeps it neat. Um, and I, I don't know, man, it's just, he. I feel like he has one of the most perfect beards, man. I don't know if it's his sh the, the shape of his face, but every time I see him, you know what I'm saying, grow his beard, I'll be like, man, his beard is cold blooded. Um, and the third guy, man, um, this guy doesn't have a thick beard, but his density is crazy. And this is Fat Joe. So, um, the thing about Fat Joe is, I don't, his beard has to be really dense because he always keeps it short, but he doesn't have any gaps in his beard. No weak points, man. And when your hair is short like that, that's really when your weaknesses get exposed. You know what I'm saying? When you start growing it out, if you have patches, your patches will start getting covered up. But this guy keeps it short. He always has it neat ever since he's been in a rap game. And it's always been dense, it, like to the point where I'm like, is that enhancements that he's using to kind of fill in any weak points? But I don't know, man, he just may have good genetics for his beards. Uh, so that's pretty much my video for this week, man. Let me know down in the comment section, man, who, who beards do you think are the coldest? When you see them, see a picture of them, you just be like, man, I gotta give a salute to his beard game, man. Or who are some people that you see and be like, man, you know what I'm saying? He need to jump on that minoxidil, to, you know what I'm saying, to fix some of the weaknesses in his beard. But yeah, man, like I said, that's the video for this week, man. I'll see y'all again next week. Y'all holla at me.